First of all, calm down, calm down, okay? Exceptional craftsmanship. Connor's trying to make a mark on it. Spin it up. The Hudson Valley's premier reality show featuring Tassinelli Hardwood Flooring. Our company's been working for this particular school district for well over 40 years. They trust us to get the job done right, and we'll stop at nothing to make sure they get the job there they is. deserve. So, how's it going? All right. All right? Looking good? Looking fantastic. Great. When I got to the gym that day, Dave looked like he fell in a bucket of finish. His shirt was drenched with sweat. Sometimes the heat in a gymnasium can build up to well over 100 degrees in the summertime. Heat and humidity can wreak havoc with a finish coat. And that's exactly what was about to happen. Welcome to Dave's Nightmare. It's called the easy way. Put the finish in the tank, comes out the valves, and you just walk. We modified it by adding a valve to it. When you buy these things, well, we bought these back in the day, heyday of hardwood flooring. They only had one valve, and that one valve was usually too slow. Didn't give you enough finish out. So we drilled the hole and put second valves in. And now, Easy Way came up with a new product that they have two valves on them. We should have patented it when we had a chance. What are we doing here? I'm uh, trying to uh, open this box of cords. No, we're going to clean this gym. Then, so that we can coat it next week. And we use a sassafras cleaner in a mop bucket. We put the, f the cleaner on the floor liberally. And then we screen it with a screen, a 100 grit screen. Then we vacuum it up with the wet vac. Andrew, give me a knife because this stuff does not want to cooperate. It's making me look like an idiot on film. But I can't even get plastic off a of freaking cord. See this? See this? It's for idiots. Okay, Andrew. This is the sassafras cleaner. You got this. 1001, 1002, 1003. That should be enough. Okay? Yeah, well, right now, let's get our uh, cord set up. Make the buffer in here. Get your vacuum over here. And now, let's get started. Scream 
machine is so big and so heavy, it's got such good suction power, and it sucks up the water very well in these gyms. We're all done wrapping up, just going around the mop, mopping many spots that we might have missed, or that my, my helper might have missed. And then, it's been a dry weekend, and like I said, we come back Monday, throw a coat on it. You notice that it's got a nice whitey texture to it. And this is what you want when you do a gym, a nice doubled out finish look. And that's it. Real wood floors, real beauty for real life. From the National Wood Flooring Association. We're at the Culinary Institute. Uh, you know, we just, like I said, we're just coming back to check on it, make sure everything went out okay. Nobody called with any complaints. It's always a good sign. Uh, the lines went back on good. Uh, the finish, finish was pretty good. It came out good. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's a commercial job, so you know you have a certain timeline that you have to get it done in. We had three weeks. We had plenty of time to do it. We got it done. Um, everything turned out to be good, though. Well, we're back in the same place to put a set coat on. We're screening in order to put the set coat on so that the finish sticks to the other coat. What Dave didn't realize was that he was heading for a heap of trouble. That heat and humidity I told you about earlier was just about ready to show its ugly side. Started curling up. So they had to take all the tape off Monday. That's why we're back here today and today yesterday doing this. And I'm not noticing every time I hit the spots where the tape was, my screen's grabbing, so there's still some residue of adhesive under there. Which is why I'm probably why I'm going through so many screens. Five hours later. Yes, Charles. Yes. I just, got, I just now finished screening it. Went through about 16 screens. I'm just trying to get this thing cool as I can get out of here. I'll take him over to the center someplace, but I'm right. I got steel wool on. Charlie wants me to let Andrew run the buffer now in the gym. Just so he can have experience. Andrew, once you vacuum that mess up, you get to run the buffer for a little while. Alright, well, we just vacuumed up. I, I want this floor to basically be dust free. You gotta vacuum all this out of the way. Then probably run the tack, tack mop through here at least again to get all this dust up. All right. While you're doing all that, I'm going to the store.
Andrew is on a work program through New York State, so he has to learn. And Dave's got to understand that he's his teacher. I showed you at the other place. You knew already. I didn't run it. If you forgot, that's your problem. Second coat on final coat for this year. Do it again next year. What a, there's something on this floor that is repelling our finish. I don't know what, the, what it is, what was used. I don't know nothing about it at this point. But I have to just finish this run out. So I can't leave. I gotta leave it straight. So at this point, I don't know. We're gonna. Everybody's gonna put their minds together and find out why this is doing this. I didn't, have, I didn't have this reaction on Friday. So it's something that's happened between Friday and today. I'm just gonna finish this run and that's it, I'm done. What's fish now? Fish eyes. Call it fish eyes or orange peeling, where the, the finish actually looks like the texture of an orange. It's got all kinds of little pock marks in it. And that's what's happening right through here. I stopped by Sensational Concepts today to check out some banners they were making to promote the grand opening for the new store in Hyde Park. Charles, what's happening, dude? Uh, my name's Frank Morasso. Uh, I'm the owner of Sensational Concepts. We are a full-service graphics company that does everything from signs, vehicle lettering, banners. We do um, business cards, embroidery, caps, t-shirts. Uh, our our main concern here is, in the end, making the customer look like they belong sitting at the 50-yard um, line at halftime at the Super Bowl. And that's really my main concern is to make sure that everybody has the same shot at uh, maximizing their potential in the, in the business world. Our connection to you is your connection to the world. Take a look, take a look at what this ad looks like. Wow. <laughs> You're really getting it good, huh? If the Beatles could get away with it, you can get away with it. Done. The White Album. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Let's see if my pad's any good. Ah, oh, beautiful. We had a slight problem with this gym. But the problem has been resolved. We had there was some kind of foreign matter on the floor that was caused our finish to repel away from itself. So we had this cool re-clean the gym with some paint thinner and see if that's going to uh, resolve the problem. And hopefully it does. There was a residue of something on the floor that was causing our finish to separate. So we're hoping that problem has been resolved and we're gonna try putting this final coat on here. Aaron Andrews bringing finish cans in now. I'm gonna get my easy way set up over there and start coating and work our way back towards this back door. So we're gonna go to work. I'm squeezing all the excess finish out of it so I can put on my block without it flooding my floor. Look at nice gloves. I guess latex don't like polyurethane. Wouldn't be good for Trojan man. Oh no, Trojan man, you had a blowout. Now I'm putting my lazuel on my block. We're picking up dirty screens. For here, this is for this for almost two weeks now, and it's still gumming the screens up. Probably with a high quality shoe. Yeah, 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 what do you do, a brick machine? 
it easy. Now I'm putting the rock dog on so we can sand this floor. Now I'm saying, we got a nice white oak floor here. Setting it down. And I want to say one thing. We just came from a 10,000 square foot gym this morning. We we're recording. And we'll come to 145 square foot room. Just let you know our task that I have for you. No job's too big or too small. But we're just going to do a quick sand on it. Pull it up for her. Center floor, we've got a long section and a short section. It's called our long and our short, or our full and our back end. And when we center our rough cut, we do it this way. So I have a short cut, my short end over there. When I find off, I'm going to put my short end over here. So we don't have that same line in the same spot. So we just do it this way because it's a better way of doing it. And the job comes out much nicer this way. and do some of the rough edging. So he's going right now to scrape all the corners where the edger and the machine can't get to. Be able to finish out of the corner of the rooms. So that we don't have any old finish left at all. We should the corners, we around all the door jams. We make it so none of the old finish is left. Off with the old, on with the new. Right now, I'm getting ready to screen the floor. Which is screening basically blends the two ends. Where the buffer and the edger meet together. So you don't see that line that's there right now, you're noticing. Makes the floor smooth so the finish goes down and looks nice. Just cleaning up the old, the gloss finish I had in here from the gyms, so I can put the, use it for satin. Fabulon satin. That's what she wants. Okay, here we go coat. job is coming up absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's it. Done deal. Now we're out of here. Okay, we're out of this job.
Oh, we're having a grand opening. I went in a high water store. It's been pretty good turnout so far. People coming in, getting their free flowing kids. Got plenty of food and drinks. It's a good time. Everybody just hanging out, relaxing. Making sure the name gets out there. A long work in progress. And uh, still not completely finished, but getting there. You know, a whole bunch more samples come in, but I got enough to tell people pretty much what they want. Some cookies, Italian and American combos, homemade cream puffs, big old cakes, cupcakes, but otherwise, things going pretty good. Cody, put in a final coat on this gym. This one we cleaned last week and coated. Uh, actually, about two weeks ago. Now we're back here putting the final coat on it. Getting ready for the kitties to come back. And trash it. Separating. It's almost like you're putting water oil together. Is that going to like? Putting water on top of oil. Or oil on top of water. Now I'm going to tell my coat to the gym. Well, why do you stop? Well, I was better than halfway done before I really noticed it. I was going to here and here, a little bit. Now it's going horrible again. Horrible here. Has that mop ever been put down on a freaking floor where her back I look over, and what's Andrew doing? He's sitting on the floor. It's no wonder my buckets were not set up outside when I came out the door. I don't know what the problem is at this point. So this floor over here, that was this floor, screen it. Tack the paint in her, cool. Nothing's been, nothing's been on the floor since we caught it last week. Set me up! There you go. Yeah, well, now let's finish all the freaking black. Andrew was supposed to put plastic down on the concrete, so when we came out, we wouldn't get poly on the concrete. No plastic, poly on the concrete, and now we gotta try to get it off. Kids today, they never listen. He'll get it right someday. That bucket, where it was, and now you gotta get that freaking finish off the concrete. I am never doing another gym in my life. That's it. Charlie, I quit gyms! Move this back, please. You said put it away a lot. Yeah, I know. Put it back here so I can dump this thing. I'll back up right, right here where I'm standing. No. Thank you. I quit after this job. The gym, the finish, or both, totally did not work out. Now we have a puddle here. Yeah, yeah. Figure this out, but not that floor. Yeah, I know, isn't that amazing? It's over for me. I mean, I gotta call Charlie yet and talk him about this finish because we have a real serious problem here. So, yes, I gotta call Charlie and ask him to get a hold of somebody with uh, the finished manufacturer and see if they have any other complaints about this particular batch. Yeah, blame it on the finish. So, I'm gonna call him now, I guess. Charles, guess what? Same thing happened again. Charles, I think we got bad finish. Got to the center point, you know, it was nothing but fish eyes. I think this finish is no good. It's not, it's not bonded to itself. The first coat went on beautifully. You can't screen it. It does not screen. And then the second coat does not adhere to it. it, it, it it's repelling itself for some reason. I think we need to get a rip out here and find out what's going on with this finish. Because I think this finish is bad. No, I finished it up because I was past the halfway point. But I started, by the time it started getting really bad. You notice there was a spot here, a spot in there. It's, ah, it's only a spot here and a spot there. It's not bad. By the time I got to the center court, it just went totally wacko on me. From the center court over. I was like, what the hell? I gotta finish it now. I'm better than halfway done. I don't know what's going on with this stuff. It, it does, I mean, it's, Charlie, that's for two weeks. This thing, it, it gummed up 10 150 screens on a 6,000 square foot gym. 10 150 screens, guys, both sides gummed. I got them, I got them in my truck. There's nothing but gum up. 
And this gym set for two weeks. There's no way. You should have powdered off beautifully. Hey, well, first of all, first of all, calm down, calm down. Okay? Talk like a normal human being, not a Sasquatch, all right? All right. Okay, bye. Well, he's not happy. As you say in Crips, get out of here! <laughs> Well, we waited two more weeks for the humidity to break, and Dave tried it again. The floor came out beautiful this time, and Dave, well, he still works for us. Spin it up, Dave. <laughs>